what is wrong with me? It seems like ever since I turned 40, something new hurts every day. YouTube, it's Autumn Beckman. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Yeah, my foot started hurting last night. It feels like a muscular thing, like I strained a muscle. And the only thing I can think of is that all day yesterday I was wearing my Franco Sarto boots that I got at TJ Maxx which I love, but they have a heel and I never wear heels. I'm not used to it. So I thought maybe that was it, just my foot being in that position all day. The only thing about that is that I went to a conference a few weeks ago and I wore those shoes every day, all day, walking all over the place and I was totally fine. They were very comfortable. So I don't know what changed or if I accidentally injured my foot in some other way. Who knows? Today's bag of the day is this Birkin inspired bag from Anafeel. I purchased this off of Amazon a few years ago. I've got a few of these. This is the 35 centimeter size. It's very rare that I carry one of these Birkin style bags because it doesn't have a shoulder strap. That's pretty much it because it doesn't have a shoulder strap. They get pretty heavy otherwise, especially the larger size like this. But the reason I chose to wear this one is because of my shoes of the day, which are these. These are coach loafers in a faux snakeskin that I picked up someplace like TJ Maxx or Saks Off Fifth or Nordstrom Rack. I don't wear these very often, but I thought they went pretty well with my outfit, so I wore them. And then I wore that bag. Also, that cold pack on my foot made my foot feel a lot better. I was very happy about that and surprised. I want to open two things real quick. This which goes this way, and this. Adorama is a camera store up in New York, and last time we were in New York, we actually went there and got to visit them. This is some equipment that I ordered specifically for Vlogmas. It is a gimbal, so it's this little, not really a tripod, but like a handle, and your camera attaches to it. And when you're hand holding and moving around, I've noticed that my hand holding skills aren't quite as good as I thought they were, and they are a little shaky. And this is supposed to eliminate most of that shakiness. Got a good Black Friday deal on it, and I'll set it up at some point soon and give it a try. Currently, I'm using this little tripod, in case you're interested, by J-O-B-Y, Joby. And it's a bendable tripod, and I love it, but I think that'll be really helpful. I think the footage will look better. And this package is this. What is this you say? These are little tripod feet that attach to the bottom of the gimbal so that you can turn it into a tripod instead of just a stick. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm realizing I already have something like this that would have done exactly the same thing. Oh, and I want to update you on Baron. We heard back from the vet. All of his urinalysis and blood work was totally normal. So the vet was a bit baffled as to why he's peeing all over the place all of a sudden and drinking a lot of water. But we figured it out last night for free. If only I'd caught him doing this before I spent $350 at the vet. Someone, someone in this household, left a pan of pork drippings on the counter by the sink where you saw Baron sitting the other day. He has access to that particular countertop, which is why we never leave food there. But someone left pork drippings there, and I caught Baron up there just going to town, licking up all the pork drippings. All that salt that makes you thirsty and then makes you pee a lot because you're drinking so much water. Now for what many of you came for, I'm unboxing a handbag. And I actually unboxed this a couple days ago as I received packages, because I ordered a lot of things. As I receive them, I go ahead and film the unboxings that night. It saves me some time in the long run. I'm able to pre-edit those. It allows me not to have to get up at 3 a.m. every day. So this was shot a couple days ago, which is why I'm in different clothes. Enjoy, and then I'll be back with advent calendars. 
So many of you are gonna be so excited about this unboxing. I first saw these bags, it's a handbag, on Coffee with Nadia's channel, and I will link her video below so you can check out her bags, because she picked two that were a little different from mine. I got in touch with her, she reached out to the company and told them that I was interested, they reached out to me, they actually said that they were already going to contact me and that I think maybe they did it a little bit faster because Coffee with Nadia recommended me or referred me. And they let me pick out this bag for free so I could show it to you guys and tell you about their company. And I really wanted to do it because I know a lot of you have been looking for these bags, haven't been able to find them, and some of you are just desperate for one. So now's your chance. Now there's a place you can get them. Came in this box. Triangular shaped. Hmm. Let me figure out how to get all this tape off. <sighs> Struggling to get the box open, clearly. <sighs> Finally, there we are. Any guesses? It is very well packaged. The plastic, it has a dust bag. It's the kind of dust bag I don't like. You guys know that, but still has one. It's got cardboard and then the bag is wrapped in another dust bag. Other dust bag. Now you can tell. Oh, there was even some styrofoam to keep the handle straight. I've never seen that before. So this is obviously an Hermes Kelly inspired bag or a dupe if that's what you want to call it. I call these inspired, but whatever. There's all kinds of controversy around that. You call it whatever you want to call it. It's not fake because it doesn't say Hermes anywhere on it. Lovely. Okay, it's the 32 centimeter size in the tan brown color, and they call this the Ava bag, A-V-A. They also have the bags that look like Birkins. So I think this is just lovely. I know a lot of you have missed being able to purchase the Anafeel bags off Amazon since they're not there anymore, and you've been looking for other options. This is a great option for you. Let me get all the plastic off of it and we can take a look inside. Well, this may not be very helpful because over the date that it was in shipment, we have the Thanksgiving holiday, which throws the dates off. But I got an email about it being shipped on November 21st and it arrived to me on December 2nd. Okay, she is all unwrapped. There was plastic on these handles to keep them safe. There was plastic covering all of the hardware, even the underside here, that hardware to keep all of that from scratching. That's really nice. By the way, this bag is about the same price as the Anafeel bags. It's, hold on, let me look that up. I think it's around 150. Nope, I was wrong. It's only $125. They have many, many different colors. I have learned from having these inspired bags, which sizes work best for me. I have some in the 28 size and then this 32 is really nice. They actually both work for me, but if I was to buy a real Kelly, I think I'd get this larger 32. I don't think I would go bigger than that because for me, I think the Kelly looks better smaller than larger. I think this is about as big as I would go for it, but let's take a look inside. You open it up. Again, no logos, doesn't say Hermes anywhere. Stretch out the sides so we can see inside better. And we've got silica packets. There were actually three of those. We've got two pockets up front here. And then that big back zippered pocket. Now, though it doesn't say Hermes, and I've talked about these things before, it does come with a lock that has that H logo that's, that's the same as Hermes. And the zipper pull here, I know it's gonna be hard to see, but that's a cute little lock and it also has that H on it. So if that bothers you, you could cut it off. It's a pretty thin little lock mechanism. So if it really bothers you, you could cut it off, but it's on the inside of the bag. You could replace it with something else. But you open that up, that's the biggest pocket I've seen in the Kelly style bags that I have. The website says that it is leather on the outside. It doesn't specify the inside. That means to me that that inside is not real leather. That would be a synthetic, that would be a synthetic leather, but it looks very similar. The inside has a little bit more of a sheen than the outside does. There's masking tape on the feet. I haven't taken that off yet. That's always kind of a pain to take off. I don't see any flaws in the stitching. The glazing on these bags can be a little bit messy sometimes. You can see how it's over the edges, like right there, but it's not so bad that it's noticeable. 
and especially with this color the glazing is a very similar color to the leather so you don't really see it that much so pretty i love it let me show you what it came with so you got this little packet came with that lock the key the clochette which i'll have to assemble and a strap and i forgot about this i just found it in the bottom of the outer dust bag so watch out for that if you order one of these it has this little packet which that has something in it that i've never received with one of these bags before it has this little scarf i have received those before however check this out isn't that cute it's like the little rodeo rodeo charms from hermes adorable and i actually like the colors on these there are a lot of color combinations that do not work very well in my opinion at least for my taste but i like this one let me show you the size of it on the bag so you get a sense of scale there it is of course you could wear it on other bags too i know you can find these charms on amazon but i've never ordered one before good to have one now try it out see if i like it maybe get it in other colors let's put the strap on the bag and show you what that looks like the strap is adjustable it has four different holes over here to adjust it and that's what it looks like hanging from the strap. And I'll stand up and put it on here so you can see the length. Okay, here's the longest length. And yeah, crossbody doesn't work very well there. And here's the shortest length. And you guys know the biggest reason I prefer the Kelly style to the Birkin style is because it has a shoulder strap. Well, this is lovely. If you've been looking for a bag like this, I definitely recommend going to handbagcrave.com. I will link them below. And I don't see anything in my emails with them about a coupon code for you, but I'll contact them and, and if they have one that I can share, then I will do that. So check the description box below for that. The Birkin and Kelly inspired bags are back. And they also have the garden party style and some wallets and some totally different styles of bags. So go check them out and see what you think. You might just find something you like. Don't buy anything I wouldn't buy. What time is it? Say it with me. It's advent calendar time. She's already here. As soon as I turn <laughs> and face the advent calendars, there she is. I don't have anything yet, girly. I was about to say let's do the tea first and that reminded me that I made the eggnog tea from yesterday. It has some spices to it, um, like cloves. It had cloves in the mixture. And then there's a bit of a sweetness on the end. So the spices come up front and then the sweetness hits you. It's nice, I like it, because it's not real eggnog. So let's go to tea, day five. Here we are. Oh, put the tripod down, Beckman. <laughs> Now I'm still doing it one-handed because I have the light in the other hand. Can't win. I need three hands. Huh, a maple syrup oolong. I am not a fan of maple syrup. How about you? It says sweet buttery pancakes. Hmm, I like pancakes, but I don't put syrup on them. Ingredients, apple oolong tea, candied papaya, interesting buckwheat seeds, roasted chicory root, maple sugar. Interesting. Next up, sugar fina. Number five has a little whale on it. And so far when they've had an icon, like the ice cream one had the ice cream pieces. So this probably has some kind of whale pieces. says baby whales. Whale watching gets sweet with these itty bitty raspberry flavored baby whales. Blue raspberry, yum. Well, I have to say I really didn't like that one that much. It does have a little bit of a raspberry flavor. However, it also has a little bit of a like Robitussin flavor. That said, it is the most delicious whale I've ever had. Moving along to the do-it-yourself advent calendar. I found day five. It is right here. So I picked up these earrings from Francesca's. They had a sale, so I have a few pieces from Francesca's. They were originally 24, I don't remember what I paid for them, but I thought they were cute and nice colors. I think they'd even go with the outfit I have on today. It's time. And as I'm setting up the camera, she is right there next to the table, ready to go. Oh, 
how cute. It's a little snowman screaming for help. Nope, nope, nope. This is your brother's cookie. You just ate yours. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. I know there are more cookies, but you have to wait till tomorrow. I'm aware of the dilemma. Perhaps you should start getting your cookies second. 